So er, now it's, such a, it's like a such a 15 or bust, right? Actually, I like having two fifty gold because we get an early shop. I don't like the fact that we get an early elite like this. I'd rather go this path. This path gives me a late shop, but it gives me one, two, three, four rest and two elites. I mean, that's fantastic. Granted, I can beat the Gremlin Knob at that point, which I'd probably be able to. I won't have the power of the gold. I have a really big payout at the end of both elites, which you typically want to get the shop before the elites so you can get as much power as possible to kill the elites, right? But the nice thing about this path as well is that this path is giving me four rests, which is probably ideal. So if that's the case, what I could do... Okay, I'll take the gold anyways. But what I could do is try to go to these events, and maybe this event will be a shop. We'll see. You should retire today, so I might not be as... Hey, no worries, man. No worries. I know how it is. Why, Todd? You had some bad rest? Or you just been busy? What's going on? I only have 64 up. Well, because I start off with 71, right? So then when I... When I take the... Uh, I shouldn't have. I should have full defended. Oh, I don't have full health because of such 15. Because you don't get... You don't get... You don't start off the run full health. It's one of the challenges. Uh, we're going against the Hexaghost. Okay. I think Shreeland is the best option here. It's a good offensive card. I... As soon as I take the stream, I'm going to want to get defensive cards, right? I'm going to hope I get defensive cards. Okay, give me something defensive, maybe. Wow, I mean, that's extremely strong. So, that changes everything. Getting a hyper beam changes everything. So, we're probably not going to be focused on focus, right? We're, we're going to try to... Um... I can kill him next. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna full defend because I can. Dual cast is doing 10 damage, right? So all I need is a strike. You push yourself out on a run. Hyper <laughs> means a defensive card. <laughs> hey, what's up, Frosty man? Good to see you. So things that give me focus, I probably don't want. I mean, I'll still take a glacier because it's still good, and you can get value out of it before the hyper beam comes out. These cards I'm not really liking. I mean, you can argue the Hello World could give you some cards like. Uh, no, it's not good. Recursion doesn't make sense here. I'm, I'm gonna skip. I will take Rip and Tear because it is cheap, but my offense is good right now. I have Streamlight and Hyper Beam. I'm, I'm pretty good. It's Defense or Bust right now. <laughs> it's Defense or Bust. Hey, thanks for the 100 bits, man. You just got off work. How was work for you? Mm, so, dual casts. Unfortunately, it's not killing this guy, right? This is awkward, because if I dual cast, I'm doing 16 damage. That guy's living with two. If I streamline this guy, he's going to be having 11 life. Dual cast is not going to kill him. I mean, there's a chance he will, but then at that point, I won't have to defend. So I think it's just the best play for me is just to... Um... I'm going to have to defend regardless, right? It actually, it depends on what dual cast hits. If it hits the guy in the back... We can't kill him with the strike. Oh, we could kill him with the strike. Let's do a cast, see what we get. Huh. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. I, th I thought way too hard about that one, I think. <laughs> hey! Did you see this in Russia video? This in Russia? Uh, this is Ru this is Russia video. No, I haven't. What is that? Uh, hello, Triple Century Elite, and where's Nob? How you doing, M -Heel, M Heel Zola? You should participate more in Discord. Yes, it is. Isn't that so? Yes, it is. You posted it in general. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. This is Russia based on this. Well, I saw this is the one that was uh, call me. Maybe I think I saw that one, right? I haven't seen this is Russia. I'll check that out. FTL, Turbo, uh, go for the eyes. I think the weekend's really good against the Hexaghosts. Like, this weekend, it's probably the only source of weekend. The fact that it's cheap is nice because it can counteract like the expensive cost of Hyper Beam and Streamline. FTL is giving me more damage in card draw. Basically cycling itself for damage. And then Turbo allows me to play things like Streamline Hyper Beam more consistently. And Turbo opens up good powers, right? If I have, like, a, a low tempo power, I can use turbo. I think I could go for the eyes, just for the weekend. 
Uh, we didn't get a shop, but we're gonna have a really big shop after these elites. Luckily, you know, we're actually quite fortunate that we got... We're quite fortunate that we got Hyper Beam, because these two elites should be relatively easy. So what we can go ahead and do is, um... Just kill these elites really easily, and they have a really big shop with 400 plus gold. Well, we can say, we can say goodbye to Focus, which is kind of sad, just because... Dual cast helps a lot in this fight. But Hyper Beam is just as good. Wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Okay, yeah, rebound Rainbow Balling. So again, I want defensive cards. I'm not, I'm not getting any offered, any. I'm not getting offered any defense. And then you could argue Rainbow is pretty good because it, it fills up your slots immediately, gives you some frost, some lightning, and gives you Dark Orb. And I mainly would take this just for the Dark Orb. But because I have Hyper Beam, it's not gonna be as effective because of negative focus. So I think I'll take Rebound because Rebound could be good with Streamline and Hyper Beam. And I can just rebound the streamline. And if I happen to get a defensive card, this rebound can make the defensive card come again. Because it's the only one I have right now, right? So I'll, I'll do the rebound. It works pretty well, Hyper Beam. And I'm actually going to upgrade Hyper Beam. It's a nice little... Uh... I mean, we're, we're back in these decks. It's funny because... We, um... Oh, we're one damage off this guy. That's sad. We're in a position again where like, okay, we have we haven't had one of these runs in a while where we have an early one, act one, hyper beam, and then the deck just does different things. But we are killing both of these guys, which is really nice. In fact, we have lethal already. Fantastic. So that's one elite down. Gold plated cables. That's really sad. That really breaks my heart because I love this relic so much. You know what? We can still utilize that relic with dark orbs because dark orbs are the least affected from the negative focus. They still get affected, but the least affected. Creative AI, I'm actually going to skip here because, okay, you could argue Creative AI is okay because it can counteract negative focus, it can give you other things, but it's really expensive, and I don't, if I get Snake AI, then yes, but right now I'm going to say no. You could argue, okay, Snake, uh, Creative AI could help me with Hexaghost and give you more longevity, maybe, and then at, at, that, at that point I can start drafting Turbo and maybe get consistent defense, which I have none right now. I'm gonna skip. Now, guys, just remember that I skipped the creative AI, so that if I end up bites me in the ass, we know why. We know why. Let's go upgrade the weaken, because the weakens will help me with both the Gremlin Knob and the Hexa Ghost. We guess finally match. That's really good, because I like to remove strikes. This is a really easy fight. We got Stack. It's the first defensive card we've seen. Okay. So I want to get Streamline going, but I also want to do Hyper Beam. So <laughs> uh, it's a little bit of a dilemma. Let's just do Hyper Beam. Stack for the rescue, baby. Let's go. Taking away Meme Armor is a tragedy. And what are we referring to right now? I shouldn't have drawn the strike again. I mean, I'm... We're, we're so... Damn, this is... That's rough, guys. That's damage. So, we have Streamline coming up, so we're fine, but... Okay, this is a little bit more painful than I wanted it to be. But you know what? We're going against Hexaghost. Being low in life is not the worst thing. We got to focus. Aye, 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 guys. So, we have gold play cables and focus. So, that's just asking for... Asking for either a Frost Orb or a Dark Orb. A little unfortunate, but we can still work around this. So if we want, what we could do... I could take the Cool Headed. And I can play this just to have consistent defense against the Hexaghost. And I don't play Hyper Beam at all. And I try to kill him primarily with Streamline. Though that seems a little dubious, right? The alternative is to take Steam Barrier. Because Steam Barrier works pretty well with my high cost deck. It gets less and less effective. In terms of consistent defense, cool headed gives me consistent defense in terms of the frost stays there. If I'm playing correctly and I can just use that consistently. But with hyper beam in the deck, it feels a little bit worse, right? I'll do steam barrier. Um Yeah, I think we need to maximize what we have right now. We need to maximize the defense we have. Maybe streamline if if I'm gonna go the hyper beam route, if I'm gonna go the route where I'm not using hyper beam, then maybe I upgrade streamline. That could be consistent 20 damage. If I happen to get a beam cell, we're we're feeling alright. 
Not to mention I'll have the zap damage if I don't use Hyper Beam. I think Hyper Beam is a little bit awkward against the Hexa Ghost. Hmm. Stack gives me... It's pretty much going to be better than Defend Ult, pretty much always. I don't know if that's worth an upgrade. As opposed to something like Zap Dual Cast. I mean, Zap doesn't feel as good. Dual Cast doesn't feel as good either. But having these Zero Cast cards make your returns better. This is a pretty good upgrade too because it makes it last longer. I'm going to try the Seabarrier. You know what? We're going to try it out. Okay, we got we got the Dark Orb too. I mean, this is really sad. We got a Dark Orb too. Were you talking about my uh, prayer wheel and my addiction? Hey, have fun with your lunch, man. My addiction to picking cards. Yeah, prayer wheel is really bad because it gets it's great, but it's really bad for my addiction for picking cards. Right? I think ball lightning is very interesting. I don't think I can make use out of it. I wish I could have. I think panache is an interesting power, but my deck's not really doing panache things. I'm a really big fan of doom and gloom. Right, it gives me the dark orb. At least I can get some value out of the gold player cables data disc, and I can I can go a different route if I do the doom and gloom. I can decide to say, you know what? I'm gonna hold back on Hyper Beam until the end of the fight so I can get some scaling at least with this, right? Which now I kind of regret not upgrading dual cast and zap, but it's okay. We're gonna get the auto shows for the block, get the hologram as well. I'm gonna remove a strike so I have more consistent defense. I don't know if I wanna get the Juju or the Dark Stone. I think we save enough money so for the next shop in Act 2, potentially have a really good relic. Because these are not the greatest relics. Sweeping Beam is good AoE, but as far as AoE is concerned, we have Hyper Beam and Good Instincts is a zero cost block, it's like worse than it uh, deflects and it synergizes with card draw like skim or all for one. I'm gonna go ahead and skip. I think maybe I take the plated armor if I'm worried about the defense. Because we, like, if we're not gonna depend on frost orbs, right? Lovely Lucy Lou, thanks for the follow. If we're not gonna have frost orbs, at least I, that's where my deck is right now, then maybe we take this just to give us more consistent defense and then I could be okay with doing hyper beam willy nilly. Maybe that's the play. We have Dexterity, and that, that seems good enough. So let's go ahead and just see what we get. I mean, look at that. It's so so powerful. So, there's a way I kill this guy in the front. If the dual cast... So, actually, dual cast is doing 10 damage after the fact, right? So this is doing 32. This is doing 10 damage after the fact. Easiest fight of my life. And there we go, we get offered a Frost. And okay, maybe if I'm going to go a different route, if I do want to try to get some more consistent defense, I'll take the one cool-headed. Doesn't feel good with the uh, Hyper Beam, it really doesn't. But it, it gives me flexibility for boss fights, whereas I could hold off on Hyper Beam until I really need it. Especially in Hexagos, right? The Guardian, I don't mind. I consistently defend, kill him with Hyper Beam. I'm not worried about it. Hexagos? I mean, maybe it's fine. Maybe I don't actually need... I'll take the cool-headed. But... I think we upgrade the hologram so it doesn't exhaust. That, that's gonna give us more bang. Okay, let's see what happens here. I'll use one of these 630. And there we go, we already got the hyper beam. Uh, so we can do an alternative thing. And said, so, you know what? 32 damage, that's great and all, right? But I'd rather get the, the dark going. Actually, here's what I wanna do. I wanna do cool headed first. Because I wanna get the, the, the frost on this gold plated first. Actually, we probably want the Dark on the Gold Plated to maximize that so I can get that damage out ASAP. Then do a cast so I can start using Hyper Beam. I'm going to do this, do this now. A little bit of a mistake there. Steam Barrier's Clutch. I think this is just his Clutch right here. Got the Weaken. Feeling good. Um, we can do we can do Streamline. Get that going. Just right. That's going to be a good force, source of damage. We get a hologram, the weaken again, you know, I think getting as much weaken as possible is really important. <clears throat> That's four turns of weaken, and now we still got the dark doing this thing. Zap is doing clutch things. Actually, no, it's not. I just shuffled. Is this the moment I do hyper beam? Probably not. I think we can wait even longer. But I do like... Actually, I don't know. I kind of like having lightning on the dark, on the gold plate cables, but ideally we want dark there, right? So let's do dual cast, get that out of there. I was gonna zap, but I'd rather get full defense, right? Oh, I had full defense with the defense. I, I missed, I missed the opportunity there. 
So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna doom and gloom. Get double dark. And now we're gonna do we're gonna evoke the frost. But now this is gonna be double scaling with the gold plated. So that's fantastic. And I'm probably gonna win with just that. Like hyper beam is just an afterthought. 62. Dual cast is already doing some some stuff. Do, 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 do. 15. That's it. GG. I swear, man. Dark orbs, man. I, I, I mean, this is so good. Go play to focus. It's so good. I just wish Hyper Beam wasn't in my deck. Now we get offered Electrodynamics or Machine Learning Meteor Strike. This is interesting, right? These are, these are very powerful cards in different ways. Hey, how you doing, Victor? Good to see you, man. And I, I think I missed Front Own. Hey, what's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome. Let me make this chat bigger, actually. You know what? I'm suffering from a small chat right now in my life. There we go. I got that big chat now. Okay, so Meteor Strike. I have a deck that can function well with Snekowai, right? I have Hyper Beam. I have Streamline. I suppose that's it in terms of high-cost cards. Meteor Strike could be okay. Other than that, I'm not going to take Meteor Strike with the hopes that I find that. Machine Learning gives me Card Draw. Card Draw could just help me... Get the consistent defense that I need, and if I'm trying to get cards more, let's say, so streamline you want to play sooner, you want to cycle it sooner, so that helps with that. Aside from that, though, I'm not really feeling like the card draw is as good. Now, we could take the electrodynamics because it's really strong power, but our deck's already doing things with hyper beam, right, in hallway fights, and that's doing such good front loaded damage that the electrodynamics is not going to be needed. When it comes to boss fights, I feel like our deck is doing stuff with dark orbs. And gold plated cables, and which at which at that point, the electrodynamics is probably not needed. So it, it feels bad to get rid of to say no to electrodynamics, but because my deck is doing some stuff with darkness and hyperbeam is going to carry the hallway fights, I don't need a two cost power. I'd rather maybe just get the one cost machine learning. I might regret that because we have focus right, and we have gold plated cables, which works really well lightning as well. I mean. Focus and go play cables and lightning is going to be doing double AOE or more single target damage twice, right? So, but then at that point, my deck's doing a lot of different things. It has dark orbs, it has the focus thing. So, it would have the hyper beam for the hallway fights. Granted, is I have four, if I have four energy, then it's not a big deal. But if I, don't, I only have three energy, it's a problem. Hyper beam for the hallway fights, electrodynamics, if certain elites, I can get some more bang on my elites. And what I could do is not use Hyper Beam in those elite fights. and just, But even then, you want to use Hyper Beam for elite fights. So it's like... I think Electrodynamics is awkward, guys. Go play the cables. Makes your rightmost trigger triggers passive additional time. And he, yeah, probably Sand. I'm going to play some games. I'm going to do a, a, extend the streak a little bit. And we're going to play some other games. I mean, a Wizard of Legend. I'm thinking... I think it's in Fortnite. <laughs> I had to say that quietly so you guys want to judge me. Hey, what's up, Rekko? Good to see you. Uh, let's do the machine learning. We get inserter. Interesting. So we don't get an energy relic, which, okay. We get inserter, which gives us orb slots, which opens up things that consume and kind of works well with my focus data disk that I have. Unfortunately, I'm not chilling a lot of orbs and I have hyper beam again. So it's. <laughs> the feather's not bad. The feather gives me sustain. It gives me sustain so I can get more upgrades. But you could argue maybe the potion is going to give me enough oomph in fights that I'm not going to need to upgrade anyway. I'm not going to need to rest anyways. Because this is a, this is a potion every combat. This is a heal every rest site. You get less rest sites, you get much more potions. I'm going to go for the YP statue. Maybe the inserter was okay. But this is the problem with Hyperbeam, in my opinion, is that it, it's not that it's a bad card. Is that it makes my decisions... It changes my decisions, right? Like normally inserter would open up a lot of things for me. But I, I get so caught up in the fact that I have a Hyper Beam that I end up not taking anything else that could potentially be better, right? But we got the we got the machine learning out. Didn't even need to upgrade it. We got the Doom and Gloom, but the Doom and Gloom is... Uh, I'm taking damage. This is, this is happening. This is what's happening. Back at Liet. So when you're on 3 energy and you don't have as... Because I don't have very good consistent defense, right? This is what happens. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prioritize the Dark Orb. The Dark Orb's going to be a scaling I might need. I might need a Hyper Beam. 
It does affect the dark, but you know what? It's also doing 32 damage. So something to consider. Let's just draw real quick. Let's do it. At least the dark is still doing a little bit of scaling. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Get the weekend again. Oh, we don't have the weekend again. My bad. Interesting, right? So if I do... Let's draw real quick. Ah, stack is okay. It's not ideal, right? I'm still taking a lot of damage. The pro problem with Hyper Beam is that if you're not killing fast enough, and Frost is a good way to help you consistently defend, then you are getting your ass kicked a little bit. But we have lethal here. That's all that matters. Okay, so we need self-repair. Because right now... The potions that I have didn't really help me consistently defend, so the feather would probably be better because the feather would allow me to get a heal. But Ancient Pocket Hub against Chosen, it could be alright. Even though my deck is kind of offense related. White Noise, Heat Sinks, or Shroom. I think White Noise is good. I think White Noise is pretty good. I, it would be better with an upgrade. So you gotta look at some of these draws, right? So I'm, I'm, don't feel like I'm drawing into consistent defense as much as I would like. I'll take this. I gotta upgrade the machine learning. We got on CC top, so that, that takes away the idea of card draw. And what's nice about CC top is I can go ahead and start picking up a lot of zero cost cards, which would be all right because we have a cheap, we only have three energies, so zero cost cards are probably better for us, anyways. We on CC top is a little awkward just because we have three energy and we have a lot of expensive cards, so I don't know how often we're going to get use out of it. I think on CC top is very good, but right now I don't have that much use out of it. I could start to draft a lot of zero cost cards and try to get used out of it i don't know if it's worth 290 so let's see what the boss is the champ the champ we're going to just scale up a darkness consistently defend it's going to be easy i kind of like petniv with the hyper beam although that kind of conflicts with so it does two things right petniv is good with the hyper beam and the offensive part of my deck but it doesn't really help my dark orb stuff i have two things going on Letter opener, you play a lot of skills, you get AoE. That's eh, okay. Fusion's interesting. All right, if I upgrade fusion, I give me energy, which which could be good, because first off, it's not affected by the focus of hyper, negative focus of hyper beam, and gives me four energy, which can help me play my expensive cards, and because I have machine learning for card draw, I can start playing more cards per turn. So Plasma's pretty good. It probably requires an upgrade. The problem with Plasma, in my opinion, is that you keep drawing into it, right? So you have Plasma. I probably want to just nurse one Plasma and that's it. But then I'm going to keep drawing into it. Which could be useful because you can get even more energy and then perhaps evoke it and get even energy gain. At some point, Fusion becomes an energy gain. But if you think about gold-plated cables, if I put the Plasma in the front slot, I'm getting two energy. I'm working with five energy, so that's pretty good. So if I get Plasma, then maybe I want the Unseason Top. So if I'm going to have all this energy, I want to get this. But then you got to think about, okay, this takes a while to set up. And then not to mention I can't even afford both. Uh, I think I'm going to remove a strike. I think I might get pendant just to get a little bit extra oomph on my hyper beam. Although I think about plasma, but the thing is that uh, fusion is kind of expensive. If it was, if it was upgraded, then yes. It's low tempo. So basically what this is, is low tempo on the turn I play it. Because I only have three energy. But hopefully on the next turn, it's starting to pay for itself. Might be the point where the Hyper Ring gets used as a win. Yeah, I agree, Persnickety. I agree. Well, I, think, I have things like Rebound, but then yeah, my deck's too, too big to consistently use rebound, uh, Hyper Beam consistently. Puppenheimer, welcome, man. You think Fusion... I think Fusion is expensive, though, right? I think Fusion is going to feel awkward, because Fusion... Okay, think about the next fight, right, coming up, right? Fusion is going to be... It's a little awkward. It's a little awkward, but... Okay... 
for the boss fight? Yes, Fusion suffers from the same promise capacitor and the fact that it's low tempo. And yes, you potentially can get value from it next turn. Perhaps you can get more value out of Fusion than you could from a capacitor immediately because... Let me explain why. Capacitor, it's low tempo, you play it. But then it gives you an orb slot, which you then have to fill up to get the value, right? Fusion, okay, you use one, t one turn, low tempo. The next turn, though, you're getting energy, which is already taken care of in terms of utilization by the fact that you draw five cards a turn, so that you're already getting cards you can utilize with more energy, right? So immediately you can start using the energy because you ha already have the mechanism to spend it, right? Whereas the capacitor has to be the slot and then filled up and then hope that perhaps that's enough. A capacitor, is, it's interesting in that it's, when it works, it's working in a very specific deck. It's weird. I think because I have machine learning, fusion's a little bit better because if, if I were to upgrade everything, right? If I were to upgrade the fusion and machine learning, I have six cards a turn. I play this at, for one mana, it's not too bad. And once, once it cycles back, it could be an energy gain. It, it's nice. In terms of how effective it is in hallway fights, like, okay, you got to think about how long is the fight's usually going, and... Mm. <laughs> yeah, so we do have enough We do have enough, enough money to go to another shop, right? So I guess I can do the fusion and remove, but then at that point I might miss out on the... Uh... I guess we'll do the fusion. You know what? Whatever, we'll do the fusion. We'll try it out. Uh, I'm not too confident about it. I don't know about Pennib. I don't need to remove a strike just because... Okay, I'll remove the strike. It's only 50 gold. And you know what? It's actually better for me to remove the strike because it's not getting any more expensive. So you could argue, yes, I might buy something a better relic, but if I don't buy a better relic, it was better to remove anyways. Fruit of AI, okay. I want to build like it. Yeah, man, I love club builds. Okay, this is awkward, but okay, there's a few things we can do. This is this one talking about fusion, right? So fusion, yeah, gives me plasma, but then I also can't get the streamline going. But then, what, what would I hologram? Another zap? Probably not. I guess we do fusion. Oh, we have the days. I forgot to use ancient pot. That's a problem. <laughs> uh, shit. We could do card draw. Let's do fusion. Mm. Having card draw is not bad. It helps draw out the days, but then... This is awkward. I want to get the focus. I mean, I want to get the frost for the focus. I suppose I play the power. Doesn't really help that much. I mean, it will, because once I play machine learning next turn, it's going to help draw out the days. And if I play a plaster, I can draw into a... <laughs> I can draw into a defender or, def uh, or a weaken. Okay. I think... I could have done better without with playing a lot less. Yeah, echo form. I think we'd rather just defend. I'll take one damage. Ah, I'm gonna have to rest, right? Skin plus. It's weird because, okay, it's giving me card draw, which will be utilized with fusion, but I would first have to get the fusion played, otherwise, skin plus is feeling a little weird because I don't have that many cheap cards. I guess I have go for the eyes and steam barrier. I think I'll take the skin plus, it's gonna be useful. I think I'm approaching a situation where I may not have the energy for it, but I'll, I'll do it. You could argue Axe 6 snapback because it can get me to the, evoke the dark orb sooner. And this is bad, because Hyper Beam... Okay, let's see what we draw here. Hmm. Frost is not as effective as Defense. Well, if you consider the fact that it may draw me a Weaken, then maybe it's fine. There's only two less Defense, but it can draw a Weaken. Boom, 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 boom. The power could be a buffer. I think it's just one of those turns where we have to full Defense. This is rough. This is rough. I think we have to get the frost on the gold-plated cables. It's 
it's a very random deck. It is, it is, it is. It's been a day since I played, right? So that, that's just enough for me to feel random. The first deck of the day is always scattered. It is, it is. It's not to mention I've also took a break, right? Okay, so. I think now we do Hyper Beam. It, it feels bad, right? But we have Rebound Hyper Beam, which is like lethal next turn. I'll take damage. I'll take damage, but this is guaranteed lethal next turn. It's 40 plus, you know, 72 damage. She's gonna kill him. It's pretty good. But you could argue, okay, I think right now I'm, I'm reaching a point where I'm, I'm defending consistently enough. That I, since they're not really scaling, I don't need to take damage there. Considering that I have an elite coming up. Well, I'm taking damage anyways. Well, I guess we can do Dim and Gloom and Evoke. You're on time for what? Yes. <laughs> okay, so what is Hall Dragon doing for me? It's giving me the Weaken or Hyper Beam, which I don't think I could utilize. It depends on what we draw here, right? If we draw into dual casts, that will pay for the skim. I think the weekend is just the better the best play. So now we're gonna be getting more energy per turn because of this on the gold plated cables. Very nice, very nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Unfortunately we can't kill this guy, right? So if we yeah, there's no way we can kill this guy. I don't know if I want a fusion either. I think we're taking damage regardless. I could dual cat. It's not good enough. I tried my best to take avoid damage. Why didn't I use hologram? I did use weaken. Big is going to destroy the... Let's hope I don't encounter the big head, yes. Let's hope that my deck is more focused by the time I get to big head. Ooh. It's fat instead of... Exactly, yes, yes. There's a lot of different things going on right now. A lot of different things. It's because... Honestly, it's because I got the gold plate cables and the data disc, plus the hyper beam from Transform, which threw me off, right? And I, I'm, I'm having a hard time balancing what I want to do with that. Ah, uh, they're attacking next turn. We have potentially... So if I do rebound streamline, what could I hologram here? Dual cast? Dual cast is killing the girl, but then... I'd rather be doing damage to him instead. I could hologram the, the hyper beam and do rebound hyper beam. And that's a decent amount of damage. So then what I could do is next turn do hyper beam, doom, doom and gloom. If I draw doom and gloom next turn, Which I pretty high chance of doing that. I could do Doom, uh, Hyper Beam, Doom and Gloom, and I, and I win. So let's do that. It's a pretty big chance I draw Doom and Gloom. I didn't take into account the fact that Hyper Beam is not going to kill the girl in the back, but it's going to kill the guy. That's all that matters. Matter of fact.
All right, this is, I mean, I might just add to this elite, to be honest. Just, I don't have the defense I need. We got mummified hands. Interesting. So that circumvents some of my energy problems. And I was offered creative AI. I think mummified hands is very good. I don't know how effective it's going to be right now, but I think mummified hands is very good. We don't have creative AI, but we can start looking into more powers. Now Now we can do things like... Mummified hand over... But if I buy mummified hand, then I can't get another stack, which could be useful to defense. Interesting. The beam cell is not bad either, because beam cell is going to give me vulnerable, which is going to make the hyper beam do a lot of damage. Hmm. <laughs> too much hype for a night ace. <laughs> it's only two prizes in the deck. I know. It's only two prizes in the deck. So it's not giving me that much value, right? It's giving me machine learning and the white noise. It's not that great. It could open up possibilities. But I feel like if I spend my money on that, right before an elite, mm, it's a little suicidal. How's it going? It's going well, Orichotus. It's good to see you, man. I can buy the Relic in a sec. Just, just, just enough to buy the Relic in a sec. Exactly enough to buy the Relic in a sec. Exactly 263. The problem with that is I can't remove a strike, right? And I'd rather remove a strike always. So then I lose the opportunity to remove a strike. But we are having energy issues, right? But if, if let's say let's say we didn't buy those relics, let's say we got remove a strike, we got a stack for more defense, even got a steam barrier for more defense, right? Steam barrier stack, remove a strike. We're left with some amount of gold. Maybe I can get the vulnerable if I want that to help with the slavers or the book of stabbing, or the gremlin leader. All of them could benefit from this. Or what I could do is um, buy the omamori, and that allows me to maybe do some some risky events and get some more gold. I don't know. I think stack, remove, steam barrier could be make my deck stronger immediately right now because it gives me the defense I need. I definitely need to upgrade the fusion at some point. I need to get, I need a rest for sure. Oh Bonaparte is really nice to hyper me. Yep, yep, yep. What's up, Team Mew? I could I know. Hey, what's up, Iceberg? How you doing? Yeah, I know I could buy stack and the the, the hand. I suppose we do it. Hey, no worries, Iceberg. No worries, Iceberg. Oh, yeah, I always talked about it, right? I always talked about Capacitor if is really low tempo. And for for what Iceberg is do sorry, for what <laughs> Capacitor is doing, what it's giving you for one mana, well, so it's one card slot plus one energy for one orb slot, feels really bad, all right? I always talk about how Capacitor needs to be worked. And, uh, yeah, I brought it up. I think a lot of people agree that this needs to be buffed. Either make it free or give it more orb slots. I think, okay, orb slots at least would make the slow tempo more worthwhile. I think making it free will help the tempo issue. I think there's a at some point there's a balance between like okay you don't want to make something too strong. If there's weaknesses, okay, so you got to argue you got to see the weaknesses versus the strengths and see if that balances out the class. Because you don't want to get to a point where you're buffing all the weaknesses, but you're leaving the class with no weakness, uh, no weaknesses, and therefore it's too strong. Like certain certain things, it's it's okay to have. Uh, inherent weakness like for instance echo forms inherent weakness is very slow tempo but it makes sense for the power that it provides thereafter i think somebody else brought up amplify uh, i think amplify's weakness might be okay okay I, I do think exhausting would be good but i think amplify's weakness is justified versus what you're using it for you're getting a lot you're getting double the power out of a specific power which might can make up for the fact that it's a curse thereafter i mean i don't know I think capacitor though, it needs to be buffed. <laughs> you guys want hands? I was oh, it's a beam cell. It's a beam cell. Uh I guys, I'm worried about this this elite. I'm worried about this elite. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna die. I'm worried. I got the hands.
Cool headed or defend? I think Quota can give me a weaken. I think we defend anyway. So I want to do stream. I want to push for damage, right? This is not how you want to take your time. You don't want to take your time at all. This is the, probably the worst elite for me. I, when I took this elite in my mind, I was thinking, don't be book of stabbing because book of stabbing you need consistent defense and he gives you wounds. He doesn't stop. At least the slavers I have hyperbeam AOE to destroy the slavers within two rotations of hyperbeam with hologram or rebounds. The, the Gremlin Leader, I had time to, to slow down or have the AoE to kill as well. I mean, but this guy, is, is a, this might be rip for sure. But it's okay. It happens. So, again, I can do Streamline and get the damage out. And then, therefore, it will be free in the future. Or I could defend and take less damage. I'll only take two damage. But I'm not getting any closer to... Uh, this is a dilemma, right? Because I want to play stack hologram. I suppose I could do this. I could do defense hologram streamline stack. I want to do dark orb because I want to get the dark scaling, but I don't think I'm in a position to do so. Alternative is also do hologram cool headed, get more frost for more consistent defense. That's giving me six frosts. And if I happen to put the lightning in a position where. Like I said, I put Frost in the position that I can get more defense with the gold plate kills. It's really risky. I mean, all of this... Hyper Beam is 33 damage. Okay, so if I do Hyper Beam... I can't, right? So... I can't do Hyper Beam. I can't, like, let's say... If I, like, maybe a good thing would be, like, Rebound Hyper Beam. I don't have the health for that. We're about to draw into Wounds on the next rotation. Um, I think we should just full defense and maybe do Streamline to get the damage in. Although I do think Cool Headed was probably just as good as a defense. We didn't get the weaken, but there is a weaken coming up right now. Um Alright. Let's play this. Let's get the weaken out. Now we're only looking at 20 damage, right? So we're looking at eleven uh block right now. Machine learning makes something free. I'd ideally wanted to hit a defense. If it hits fusion, I'm feeling kind of bad about it. If I hit it, so if I defend first to mitigate, we're looking at 20, right? So this is doing 16. I, I do want to play machine learning and get the value out of moment at hand. It also helps with the wounds. There is a 50% chance it hits the defense. Hitting fusion is not bad either because getting more energy would be a nice thing as well. I'm still a little bit about damage because I'm not scaling. I don't have the doom and gloom going. I probably should get that, but I don't think I have enough time, right? I don't have the energy for it. I guess we'll get more Frost. Hyper Beam. Okay, now is the approach to the place where you probably want to consider it. 33 damage. If I use Hologram next turn, that's doing... 66 damage. Then I would be... Well, actually, if I do Stereo Point now, I'm doing 37 damage. Right? Next turn, I'm doing 33. He's 4 damage off. Now, I would have to make sure I survive... Despite that. And now the problem with Hyper Beam is that it's making me lose 3 focus. So I'm not going to have the passive block. I'm only going to have 21 HP. I would be dead. But if I do Ancient Artifacts, I believe that takes away the negative focus, right? Right? If you do art Ancient Artifacts, you don't lose the negative focus. Now I'm going to do it for Science. But if I do that, then I can't do Stairway Pot. Or I still can't do Stairway Pot. Should we learn? I mean, this is... I don't want to lose, but I guess we can learn. Do we lose the focus if I do this? Wait, there's not even a chance... I'm, it's not even guaranteed that I draw a hologram next turn. Well, here's the thing about Serapite. Serapite, you I know for a fact it gets rid of the uh, the artifact at the end. So it's not a problem with doing the Serapite. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Because no, the Serapite comes at the end, right? So if the Hyper Beam is going to be losing focus immediately, I'm assuming the artifact will help that. If I'm wrong about this, I die. 
Beautiful. So we can defend. And then now we can either get the hologram. We got double stack, which is fantastic. That's extremely clutch. Now, luckily, this is the only elite I have to fight. It was the worst elite, but this is the only one I have to fight. Let's go ahead and rest. We got stack again or reinforced body. I like reinforced body. I think stacks might be a little bit better. Well, we got to start looking at powers too, right? Because powers with mummified hands, I want to get more value out of this, right? So if, it, if heat sinks mummified hands, that could open up a lot of possibilities. If you get a lot of powers hereafter with heat stinks, then you can start getting just infinite value. I mean, it's a little bit suspects. I, I think stack and reinforced body are probably the best bets for me to survive against the the champ and just scale up a dark. Only problem is I like reinforced body because it can be a lot of block for a little, no matter when you draw it. Stack could be a lot of block for a little, but depends on when you draw it. The fact that it's plus three is making me lean towards the stack. But having something like reinforced body is pretty useful. All that for runic, I know it's all this for this, right? All that for this. The thing about this, I was. It's not so much that I. There's a force elite no matter what, right? And if I want to go avoid the elite, I have to go on a path that only has two rests. So I'm basically doing elite, not just for the runic, for the runic dodecahedron. I'm also doing this elite so I get access to the four rests, or f yeah, four rests. So it's all right. So it's good to know though. Yeah. So hyperbeam ancient artifacts a good combo that makes this white beast statue a little bit more effective. You're done with half your homework? Hey, nice. That's your reinforced body. Although stack is a big consideration. Problem with reinforced body. Well, one nice thing about reinforced body is that uh, it's perfect. I'm going to rest again, guys. Just because I'm struggling right now. I'm struggling a lot. But we're full life, so now we can hopefully get two upgrades if everything goes perfect. Upgrade all strikes and defense. Okay, so what that does for me is upgrade all my defense. If I were remove, I remove a strike. And that's like 50 gold worth because I, I can remove from a store for 50 gold. I think upgrading all defense is pretty good. That makes my defense much more better. Pantograph, okay. So I, I could take damage here if I need to. I think fusion is probably a decent upgrade. I think machine learning is going to be really nice because we have mummified hand and want to get that ASAP. I should have dropped... I should have drew first. If I drew first, mm, I mean, I guess hyperbeam. Here's, here's what we're gonna do. I like having lightning right on the the loop, but I think having more consistent defense would be more useful. Hope I don't regret that. And so I do want to get doom and gloom out. I want to get the scaling for the dark. Okay, beautiful. I, I want to evoke this frost ASAP. And the sooner I get the drug scaling, the better. Eh. What's nice about that is that I can either draw skim or fusion. Eh, this is bad. All the days. Ooh, I. Ooh. Oh, so hologram is interesting because hologram can bring back the go for the eyes and double weaken, right? Which can mitigate a lot of damage. Although stack is blocking for 13, hologram's doing weaken on this turn and the next turn. You know, it's also blocking for five. So it's giving me weaken for this turn next turn. So it gives me if if the awakened one's gonna attack next turn, the weaken's better. What else could hologram could also bring back? I think the weaken's better. Uh yeah, I think it's fine. It's like the same value, right? It's like 10 damage mitigation plus the next turn, so it's, it ends up being better. We got stack again, double stack. The problem here is this guy's not dying, so we need to desperately get the dark evoked. So things like zap become much more useful, but we also don't want to die. So what we're going to do is we're going to rebound the stack. And I'm going to play enough skills so that I draw into stack again next turn. And we should draw and just stack next turn, so we we're still have some defense next turn, which is going to be necessary for this guy. 
Oh, we kill him anyways. Never mind. Okay, we're fine. Uh, I can take a little bit more damage because of Pantograph. What I, ideally, what I want to do right now is get the dark going, right? But I don't want to take all this damage. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. I have all these streamlines in my deck because of Hello World. I'm not, I don't know about that. You know, because I can take damage because of Pantograph, I'm going to play this differently. I'm healing for 25. I'm going to play this differently. I'm actually going to go ahead and push the dark forward. And I'm only doing that because I have Pantograph. Cool headed rocket beam. Okay, beautiful. White noise again. White noise is not bad because it, it, it mummified hand. It sucks that white noise is costing one, but it and there's RNG element to it. Okay, so maybe you can think about cool headed for more frosts, which give it more consistent defense against the champ. We only have one frost as it is. I guess this card draw as well, which could be useful with, I suppose. Go for the eyes, steam barrier, maybe streamline if that's going on. I think right now what I want to do is... I'll do this, but I want to upgrade... Either the fusion to get that out in a better way, or... I upgrade... The dual cast. So if we're going to think about killing this guy with dark orbs, maybe dual cast upgrade would be better. So we can do... Like dual cast, hologram dual cast, or... Uh, it depends. I guess if we have fusion now, it's not going to matter. But then maybe Koi is better because I can get more card draw, which can help me consistently defend. It's awkward. It's kind of awkward. Let's go for fusion. Okay. So this this fight's pretty easy, guys. I have I have gold play cables in darkness. My main goal right now is to um Oh well this I think we can play our whole hand here. Wow. Wow. That makes everything. So much easier. That makes everything so much easier. Well, muffed hand, that's... Yes. When I see that, I think yes. I'm gonna go ahead and get the fusion out, right? That can help me play the creative AI stuff. And this should be a pretty straightforward fight, guys. Let's just get the dark going. Now we even got capacitors that we can play. We got the... We could do rebounds... Go for the eyes, or we can do go for the eyes, hologram it. At this point, the sky is the limit. I, I'd rather get as much weakened as possible. I'll butter up a little bit. They got a deep frag. Alright, so Hyper Beam's out of the picture. We got double deep frag. Oh my god. There's a Dark Orb finally, right? So our main goal right now is to get that to the gold plated. It's not like that important like i could zap which is probably fine because that gives me double energy but i want to get rid of the lightning as soon as possible because it's going to make it so that he is pushing for damage in a way that i don't want to but now we're going to start with what five energy oh six because of runic that's hilarious uh, that's gg i don't like static to charge because that can mess up the dark thing right that's one power i'm not going to play We can hologram, reinforce body, and call it a day. I, I kind of do like doing cool headed again. It gets rid of my energy, but because I have Winged Drake, Heatron, and Mumfed Hand, I'm not too worried about the energy. Like, I have four energy, and that gets dark looped. I think that's really important, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. What I can do is always play Plasma again. I ah, know I can't. I don't have Recursion. We'll do stack again, right? So we're good on defense. I suppose I can do Stringly just to butter him up. It does nothing. So it's funny, right? If you have two unupgraded electrodynamics, it behaves as if it's upgraded. It's very interesting. So if you have three unupgraded um, or four unupgraded electrodynamics, it be behaves as if it's two upgraded ones, I believe. It's very interesting. Card draw, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so there is the fusion I was talking about. Hey, thank you, Cinnabal Well, Welcome to this live stream, dude. I'm glad you like the YouTube content. Welcome, dude. 
Butter him up, baby. So his double stack is obviously what we're going to do. I think fusion is nice for the energy, but I think we came to the conclusion we're okay without energy right now. Because of this Ronin's production heatron, so we're fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and fold the feds. And here we just sit back and wait. It's kind of lame, but you know what? That's how you kill the champ. You gotta be lame. Lame's the name of the game. Fusion there again. Don't give me static discharge. I don't want it in my life. Hmm. We just sit back and do nothing. All right, so that's two twenties. Right, we're getting, we're getting, we're scaling up pretty nice. We could do a cast now. It's not good enough, right? It's a lot of static discharges. You know what? I'm gonna start playing them. Get them, get them out of here. Get them out of here. I wish I could rebound dual cast without using the dual cast, right? That could be bad. So if I take one damage, it ruins my whole scaling thing. We got loop. Oh my god. I feel so bad for this man. Oh, it's GG, dude. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He's not ready yet, right? Nope, he's not ready yet. Okay, this is lame. <laughs> oh, is this enough? I mean, that's doing 318. Pretty good. Well, that was easy. The champ is definitely the, probably one of the easiest bosses with, with Dark Orbs. Or just, I think champ is probably the easiest boss for the defects. For sure. Okay, guys. Well... Creative AI and Mumford Hand is a very good combo, as we just saw. If we get an energy relic, then we can reliably do that. We do have fusion to help it out. Machine learning can be a lot of card draw with the fusion, and machine learning on the first turn makes my first turn a little bit better because of Mumford Hand. Buffer's really good. So the problem with Creative AI is that if I'm going against the Awakened Ones, it's a dead card. If I'm going against Donian Deca, it feels good. If I'm going against the Time Eater, it feels good as well. So there's... One in third chance that I'm getting punished for this. And now we get offered Ch Choker, which is an energy relic, which I probably want to take. But since we have Mummified Hands, and we have Runic Dekahedron, and we have Fusion, I could probably be okay without taking an energy relic at all. We've got to think about how bad Choker is going to affect me, right? So if my deck is mainly just playing some powers here and there, and then maybe trying to consistently defend, Choker's probably not going to mess me up too much. It's not like I'm playing all for one deck. With Mummified Hands, I will play cards more often, but I think it will be up to six cards and never more. The, the Pandora's Box is going to reach my defense. That's really bad. I like the defense. I think Runic Pyramid is interesting, but not that interesting. So we'll do Choker, and I might I might regret this. We'll see. It's the Time Meter. That's fine. So Time Meter is actually perfect, not only for the Choker, because I, I already want to limit my cards I've played, but Creative AI is extremely good against Time Meter because it's consistent power. Like every single turn without having to play cards each time, right? So it's this is fantastic. We could avoid elite altogether. We got pretty lucky. We could avoid elite altogether. It feels a little bit, uh, a little bit of chicken of me. But you know what? We just want the win. We just want the win. This is interesting, right? Because we could go ahead and do hyper beam. It's gonna ruin. I'll do it. What was the what? What are your thoughts on the new card in the enemy, by the way? You should do patch notes. Oh, I haven't seen the new card. I'll check it out. I want to do streamline, but I don't want to take damage, right? Because I'm having a Rukidakahedron. Kind of sucks.
Oh, Choker messed me up here. Wow, okay, that's the situation we're talking about messing up. I didn't want to take damage because I want to um, keep the runic. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. It's all good. It happens. Wow. Wow. What? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh my god. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh. I'm, I'm choking. I'm choking. I did not want to do it like that. Okay. That was a huge choke. Massive choke. Okay, we have region pot. We'll be fine. Hologram doing the rebound. I'll take a hologram plus. Give me a blind. Panache is okay. I think Choker is not that great. I think Flash of Steel is not that great either. It gets a time meter and with my Choker. And I think Transportation is not that great either. Panache, I guess, is okay because it helps me with some AoE. My good is the Darklings. But aside from that, it feels kind of bad. I think Max is a Madness thing ahead. I don't like any of these either. I think Madness could be okay. Not really. I think my deck's fine. I'm gonna skip. I guess thinking ahead gives me card draw and that can help me put things on top that I might need later. I'll take thinking ahead. It, might, it feels a little bit bad with the choker, but whatever. They remove Nova? Yeah, Nova was an awkward card. You know, I think that's to totally fine. I think Nova's totally fine to remove. Okay, well that's a lot of damage I'm taking. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna use Regent Pot for this fight. Actually, the fight might not last not, not might not last that long. It's a lot of Echo Forms, dude. Ah, okay. So reinforced body covers everything, but I want to get the weaken. This is awkward. Choker is actually messing me up. It's not worth so far. the leap can I remove choker altogether hologram again oh sh oh cheese nibble uh finally I won't spare keep up the great work keep up the great work thank you so much for the tier one two months in a row thank you cheese nibbles welcome back for the two months reset I think I'm gonna spam Ironclad just to get one of the final achievements left before I dump it back into some Dusty Closet again. They wish they kept Allocate. The last thing we had, yeah, I know, they had five Novas, so what they did was they, they gave the daily five Novas just so we can have a Nova celebration before they removed it and get rid of it. Because Nova was, guys, I think Nova probably had the worst pick rate of any card, especially any rare. Yeah, Choker is pretty bad multiple echo, echo Forms. I mean, luckily, Echo Form. Gives you a lot of defensive value. So if you're scaling with Dark Orb, let's think about the time meter. If you're scaling with Dark Orb, then you're just happy that the Echo Form is making you consistently defend, and then your Dark Orb is going to be doing its thing. So it could be a fine. There's not an, there's another shop, so I can wait. But I think removing is always the best bet. So we're going to move a strike again, and I got to hurry up because we're taking some time. Another hologram. Mm. We could do Cold Snap for more Frost, but the thing is, all right. So Hyper Beam works well with. Echo form. I think Hyper Beam is not okay for the boss, so I think we might go for more Frost. But I don't think I want to go all in on a. I'm gonna do removal. 
What's actually bad right now with... I think Streamline is pretty awkward. Yes, it gives me more damage, but it's kind of awkward now with my, what my deck is doing. I think Streamline is pretty awkward. Mm. It's, I think it's really pretty awkward, actually. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, and I'm gonna get an hologram. Alright, that's it. We can... We can get another removal. This is not a bad relic. I rest for 34. Ah, that's good enough. Actually, I could've milked one more out of that. Molt... Ah, so this is a problem. Because multicast is extremely good with Dark Orbs. Recursion is really good. Dark Orb should What's nice about recursion is that that help that helps me manipulate the gold plated cables, right? And the recursion can keep the Dark Orb scaling, but also give me like frost on the gold plated if I need more defense, or give me energy gain with plasma. It's bad with choker, but I think with the Dark Orb is pretty good. Is that or removal? And if I would instead of that, what I can do is remove a zap. And take the recursion, but I can't do both, actually. Can't do both. Let's do recursion here. Let's go. Oh, wait, I had a region pot. I sh probably shouldn't have. I probably shouldn't have rested. I mean, I guess it's fine because I can upgrade willy nilly. I think Kuwaiti for the card is really nice. I think um, Hologram Plus is really nice. That doesn't exhaust. I think Recursion is really good upgrade as well. I think so. We're gonna do Hologram. I think we're gonna do Hologram and Recursion. We lose Strike anyways. It's beautiful. Okay. Okay, we gotta be careful, right? So I'll do Storm. Auto Shields. I'm very limited with what I can play here. Let's put that on top. Let's go ahead and just do a quick little defense. This is going to be a little rough. Again, we have Pantograph, so if we take damage, it's not a big deal. We have Reinforced Body if, if we need it. I guess I'll do Recursion. Reinforced Body. I ended up taking damage that I needed to take. And that was stupid. That was real stupid. Not bad. Let's get stack again. I think fusion is okay because now that I don't have running to the maybe we want. Actually, I didn't consider the fact that Momofed Hand and Running to is kind of their own energy relics. I didn't really need Choker. Ooh, Electrodynamics doesn't feel that great. I mean, I guess it is actually because it's still AOE, which is fine. We got stack, very nice. Um. I think we're going, we want to draw, get the frosts. So Zap is interesting, right? Because Zap, so dual cast right now is doing 18 to everybody. Plus the four. So I'm doing 22 to everybody. It's not quite enough. I think we do white noise. Get the loop. We could skim for free, but then now. No, I discovered. I'm not focused. I'm not focused. You know what? I'm gonna avoid the damage. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. You know what? We have Wipey Statue. Why not use the potion? Cool headed again. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, uh... Uh, I'll take Kuwaiti. I don't like Kuwaiti not being upgraded. Feels bad. Fusion. Okay. Machine learning. Okay. I'm not going to do Reinforced Body. I think I'll do the Region Bot just so I can get... You know, I'll do Poison Bot too. I want to get the Region Bot just so I can potentially get Rungo Dekahedron. But since I have Pantograph, it's probably better for me not to um, use Region Bot. Okay. We need to get Dark Orb ASAP because this guy is actually quite a monster. This guy is quite a monster, actually. There's the weaken. Let's get that out there. We have mummified hands, right? So we need to, um... Sorry, we have choker, so we need to do stack. 
Hologram. Stack. Take one damage. No big deal. Gotta get that weakened ASAP. You know what? I'm, I'm even gonna get rid of the plasma. It's, it's so important. I think... I think it's so important for me to have this on gold plated cables that I'm going to use dual casts, and that's, that's what we're going to do. Now, I hope we can draw some loops, right? Ooh, we got to be careful. We got Storm in play. That's really bad. I just screwed myself. Storm is awful. Fuck me. Well, I guess Recursion saves the day a little bit. I think Electro Dynamics is too expensive because it makes Reinforced Body not be able to play. And it doesn't do anything on a single target, so... Mmm, this is looking risky. I guess I can do... I don't have Recursion Upgrade, do I? I was going to say I could do Recursion again, but I can't. Oh, we have st I mean, stack is perfectly fine here. We can do stack hologram and stack, and now we can do recursion. Okay, I think by tradition is fine here. Uh, I think you know what? I think we have lethal. Because of Storm. I hate it on Storm, but you know what? Storm gave me lethal. Okay. Wow, we get loop. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect for what we were trying to do with Time Eater. I mean, Capacitor Plus is not bad, but you know what? Because Capacitor Plus allows me to uh, get some more Frost consistently defend. But loop allows me to get dark like crazy. Defect is cool. I was mainly working on defect because I can easily milk Jeremiah of ideas. Yeah, it's because I'm playing a lot of... Yeah, the Choker does suck. It's okay, though. Wait, I should be doing damage here. In one on unless it's upgraded? I know. I know. It's weird. It's weird. So, Electric Dynamics on upgraded is pretty bad in single target. So, the way they can go around changing that is they make Electrodynamics uh, the same effects that it has upgraded, but make it more expensive, and then upgrading lowers the costs. That's the that's one way they could fix it. But aside from that, it's like... I don't know how they can fix it. Heat sinks capacitor. Cool headed. Okay, let's draw into stack, I suppose. You know, it's not the best because I am chokered out. A hey, pantograph, you know what? Doesn't matter. I think I'm about to use Hyper Beam. I'm, I'm pulling the trigger. I might regret that. I might regret that. We'll see. We got Buffer, Auto Shield. Uh, we're doing good. We got some good stuff going on. We got some good stuff going on right now. Let's get that dark to the front. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, Echo Form out. Give me dual cast. Do I? No, I, I don't have. Damn, choker it out. 
Doesn't matter, right? Because we have self repair and we have we have buffer first off, but we also have pentagraph, so it's not a big deal. Recursion. I guess recursion is fine. Can I, can I find? Oh, oh, we're good. GG. Okay. Black potion is fine. Self repair plus is bad. I'm gonna go ahead and skip here. Okay, so we want what we want to upgrade is things are gonna help me win this. See my time meter fight, and the best way for me to win for me is not only consistent defense, but loop for dark scaling. Loop is dual purpose because it can make frost twice as good. So I'm gonna do dual loop plus. I think this should be a relatively easy fight. It depends on what we draw, obviously, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, we can, we want to get creative AI out. Let's get the machine learning out. Let's put. We can put stack on top, or we can put fusion on top. Now, fusion allows me to get more cards played. But let's do stack. Alright, and let's go ahead and defense. I will use the block pot here. Now, that's a little unfortunate because we no, we no longer have the runic dodecahedron. I guess we skip. Well, I guess we can, we can use fusion now. And now we skip. I'm not going to use bad cognition just yet. Unless I... Buffer is great here, so buffer allows me to get the loop out. I mean, theoretically, I could block, but you know what? Who cares? Let's get the loop out. Let's get the white noise. Heat sinks is not bad. Ideally, we actually want to get the frost, right? And we want to make him... I don't want to draw, because I, I, I don't want to draw into my weakening, which I might want next turn, and I don't want to draw into my darkness, which I want to get out, so... I think dual cast is interesting because it does the loop on the plasma, which gives me a lot of extra energy. Don't know how useful that is, but it does make reinforced body better. That's always a consideration, right? So having that extra energy makes my block much nicer. I got loop again. That's eight energy. So what we could do is do reinforced body and cover everything. That's like a, as a finale. Let's do loop again. Got buffer again. We want to get the dark out, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to finish this off with Reinforced Body. Alright, that's perfect. That's perfect. Now, what we got to do is just a funky, sh funky shenanigans, a little prophylactics to move the dark to the front, get that scaling ASAP, try to maybe get some slots, like Capacitor. Go for the eyes is quite good. So we can finish off with the Reinforced Body again. Might, might as well proc him this turn. Bias Cognition, a little awkward. But it is card draw for me. If I want to keep this turn going, I guess I play it. The alternative is to just do this. Weaken him again. Okay, call it a day. I can just skip and let the buffer be t played. Alright, I think it's important that I, I draw here. Well, I want to get dark to the front. That's, per that's exactly where I want where I want the dark. And now I'm gonna do double white cognition because this is gonna make it scale like so strong. It's in fact I'm gonna do triple bias cognition, and I want you guys to see the amount of scaling I'm about to get. Just take, keep an eye on that dark orb. Watch how fast it's gonna win. 115 already. Next turn is gonna be lethal pretty much. Let's go ahead and play the echo form. All right, 147, 195, okay, you know what, we might as well pop to do a recursion, just get some damage, butter him up a little bit, I didn't think this through, we have buffer, don't, no, we don't have buffer, yeah, I didn't think this through, that's okay, so we actually could leave the frost there, right? We could we could leave the frost there, and we'll get, I believe. Nah, that's just too quadded. GG. All right, 
That took a long time, but time meter is the joke. Time meter and champ are both like pushovers, right? When it comes to dark orbs. That's 4-0, guys. That's 4-0.